Marvel Cinematic Universe, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple of releases coming up. Secret Invasion, I am looking forward to, but we also got the news that the Echo series is coming out. And not only is it coming out soon, Disney's dropping all the episodes for Echo all at once, which is something different. Usually with Disney Plus, we get a weekly episode drop. So, for example, if something's eight episodes long, we get eight weeks of content. They've never dropped all the episodes all at once. And to me, that was a big red flag. And apparently my intuition and others' intuitions were correct because the rumor has it that this show... This series, Echo, was plagued with production issues and that it was actually deemed unreleasable by Kevin Feige at one point. Holy smokes. And this doesn't hold over well with recent developments where series such as Ironheart and movies have been pushed back, delayed, postponed indefinitely, and even cut between Marvel and Star Wars and other Disney properties. They've been making adjustments, and whew, this does not look good at all, especially with they're doing that. Now, you could probably say maybe they're putting all of these episodes out to test the Netflix binge all at once method, but I, I think the red flag was enough. I think they know nobody gives a shit about this character. Nobody asked for this show. And even with the rumors of Daredevil and Kingpin being involved with this, I think they know that this was going to be horrible, which is why they released it all at once. I mean, if if you look at everything that the MCU has done since post-Endgame in recent years, it's <laughs> they're following a path that's leading them to failure. I think they're focusing on characters that lack popularity, Sure, when the MCU first started, they used characters that not many people knew alongside major characters like Thor and Captain America and Hulk. But, you know, we had characters like Guardians of the Galaxy Shine, Black Panther Shine, and a few others that, you know, got boosted up. But now we're getting stuff like Echo. And I think it seems that Kevin Feige and the decision makers over at Disney are trying to push certain characters like Miss Marvel and Echo and Riri and Ironheart and whatever for the sake of diversity and inclusion and identity politics, which is gross. Like, ugh, gag me with a fucking spoon. This is a stance that the MCU has opened, like been openly pushing since post-Endgame. Like they've changed like their their core values and beliefs and stuff instead of writing good entertaining popcorn flicks that that make us escape from reality we got to be freaking shoved with identity politics down our fucking throat so yeah they they outline their plans for phase four and five and it's been disappointing box office numbers for them sure some of the movies are not bad like i liked wakanda forever i actually enjoyed uh, the newest Guardians of the Galaxy. I left the theater feeling like I had depression and second question and second guessing my life and stuff after that. But it was still really enjoyable. Just really sad. Uh, I feel that they're losing a lot of money though because they're not making their money back. Like Thor underperformed, Multiverse of Madness underperformed. And Disney Plus is losing millions and millions of subscribers. I mean, just the other day it was revealed they had a huge hit. I think uh, Echo looks like it's going to potentially be the worst series yet out of all of them. And that says a lot because I really didn't care for Miss Marvel. Now, apparently the Echo series was plagued with numerous problems, including extensive reshoots and delays, according to the report that is on this article. And I, I don't know. <laughs> That's not a good sign. I feel like looking at this, it said, I heard it was a mess and the show came in so bad that they basically had to reshoot the entire thing. I'm told they originally shot eight episodes and Feige thought it was unreleasable. So they talked about cutting it down to four or six in post. Then they ended up reshooting it. <laughs> so at the bottom line, it needed a top down rejiggering according to this article with this person talking called Schneider 
Uh, I feel that releasing all six of the episodes at once, which deviates from the usual week-to-week format, leads to speculation that it might be poor quality. I think maybe they're just throwing it out there so they can get all the bad reviews and bad press out all at once. So they only have to deal with it for a couple weeks or so instead of dealing with eight weeks of bad press and bad reviews and critics just flaming it. I feel they're just ripping the band-aid off and getting it over with, right? Again, obviously the decision that they wanted to make Echo for was because diversity and representation. They needed a female protagonist that nobody gives a fuck about. Um... A, a person of color, uh, they needed to fill in the boxes. I'm sure there was other stuff in here, some other woke agendas and stuff. And instead of making a compelling story or character or entertain er, entertaining the fan base, you have to have agendas pushed, obviously. Identity politics. Oh, Eric, you always say that. No, it's fucking true. It's fucking true when your main character's focus is the fact that they're a certain race or a certain color above anything else that's not good character development at all they're, they're you know a, a good superhero character has a backstory that makes you feel relatable to them no matter how powerful they are uh usually with a tragedy or something that you could really relate to that teaches a a lesson and morals and being a good person and gives you a reason to be behind them and stuff instead now it's oh this is a female here you go this is a this is an african american female this is a, a latina this is a hispanic male this is this and that relate to that it's like get the fuck out of here just because somebody's mexican doesn't mean i'm automatically going to fucking relate to them you know what i mean to me that's just hispandering that's what i call it or or whatever the race of the individual is or or their sexual orientation i think um on top of that there's a lack of experience with people making these shows. They don't understand the core source material. They don't have a respect for it. They, you know, you're not getting creators involved beyond just a con- consulting thing. And even then, Disney's not listening to them like Star Wars. And then on top of that, uh, there's troubled production woes and stuff for whatever reason. I think it's because they're just piling too many projects at once. This is a spinoff from Hawkeye. Which I feel was an okay series. It wasn't really majorly groundbreaking, but I feel that I enjoyed it for the most part. But you're getting a secondary character from Hawkeye and building a whole series on them at once. And I just, I don't know. (laughs) At times I feel they had it best when it was just strictly movies. And then when you get a streaming app, you need original content on it and you're just starting to flood it with just nonsense. You're, you're making throwaway content that people forget about. Like I, I remember bits and pieces of most of the Marvel Disney plus series, but I couldn't tell you what happens because it just feels like so many of them start to overlap. And, and I feel that <laughs> a lot of the people involved with some of these shows have no prior experience with, action shows or comic book properties and it fucking shows because the writing is abysmal so kevin feige if he really felt this was unreleasable then they're there he's acknowledging the issues here and i think the decision to do all these episodes at once definitely is like a decision to move quickly past the bad press for it, the negative response and criticism and things like that. Like, okay, let's get it out of the fucking way so we can get secret wars out here and, or secret invasion and, and all this. And so people could be happy for once. So uh, I don't know, guys, what do y'all think about this development? Just want to give my thoughts about it. Cause I was actually asked about it recently.